up the radial knob right now, guys. Radial knob. Now, one thing I want you to understand about this radial knob is that it's a very, very important knob. Because this radial knob is in a bit the posterior surface of the arm and the forearm. That's what you should understand about that. Okay, now, of the forearm, basically, a majority of the four posterior surface of the forearm is innervated by the radial knob. Okay. Now, this radial knob, what is the origin of this radial knob? The origin is what? The posterior cord, guys. The origin is what? The posterior what? Cord. Okay, now. So, um, in the arm, looking about the topography in the arm, you understand? The whole cord, the radial groove, right? Radial what? Canal. Not groove. Radial canal. Okay. And in this radial canal, the radial nerve runs in the radial canal, right? We have the radial nerve inside plus or oh, alongside with what the deep artery of the arm. Of the arm guys. Okay now. As this nerve goes towards what the towards as it's as it's going down, you understand? It leads the radial canal through a space that is found between what the brachy muscles muscles and what the brachial radialis muscles so upon going leaving the radial canal through this space it now finds its way into the, the cubital fossa guys we have what cubital fossa and after the cubital fossa what do we have next we have what the, the ulna and the radial uh, bone, right? But this now goes to the head of the radius. The head of the radius, guys. When it goes to the head of the radius, there is split into a what? A superficial and a deep branch. Yeah. Okay, now the deep branch. Let's start with the deep branch, guys. Now this deep branch it runs what below below the what the, the super below what the the, 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 the supinato, you understand? Below what are the supinato muscles, right? It runs below the supinato muscles, guys. So when it runs below the supinato muscles, it now goes to the, the posterior. Of the forearm, guys. And there, yeah, what does it do? It gives its own muscular innovation, muscular branches, right? Muscular branches, guys. So, what the overall of the front are the posterior surface to have for the extensors, right? Yeah, so it gives muscular branches to those extensors, understand? But the longest, the longest of those muscular branches is called And in this radial canal of the forearm, you understand? What you call the radial groove. It runs in the radial groove of the forearm. And then it runs alongside with the radial artery of the forearm. It runs alongside what? The radial what? The radial artery of the forearm. You understand? Okay now, this particular arm. This particular branches of this particular the deeper branch what it does is that what after running you understand as the what uh, after 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 running it gets to what it divides into what the it goes to the what, dorsal surface of the hand guys it goes to the dorsal surface of the hand of the hand 
where it divides into the dorsal and digital nerves. This is the dorsal surface. That one. And then there it divides into the dorsal. Yeah, exactly. 